Hi everybody, it's Monique and I'm back with another YouTube video. If you're new, thank you for clicking on my video. Please subscribe. My goal by the end of the year is to have 500 subscribers. If you are a current subscriber, thanks for coming back. And everybody continue to like, share, and comment. Let me know any type of videos you would like to see. You can tell by the title, this is a baby related video. I think I mentioned before that I will be filming baby related videos because we have a new baby. <laughs> so I wanted to kind of talk about um, how my first and second trimester went and has been going and then show some of the baby related pregnancy things that I bought or have gotten to take care of myself during this time. And then I have a few baby items that I got, hence behind me, and some other stuff sitting inside that I want to show at the end of the video. So, if you are interested in pregnancy stuff and baby stuff, just keep watching. So, um, I have a list here, and I guess I'll just start by the beginning of it all. So, my due date is November 29th, which means I, con I conceived in March. Um, we are having a boy. Um, there was no like, um, you know, surprise my husband with a test or anything because we both knew we wanted to do this. And I think he was like on top of like me missing a period just as much as I was. So it was just kind of done together, which is fine. It was, and because of COVID, you, you couldn't really go out and do any lavish surprising or stores were only open for groceries anyway so yeah so this is score was a girl and i think he did that to make himself not be sad if it really was a girl and he really wanted a boy that's what i think he won't admit it but i think that um i didn't have a preference my only issue is girls um clothing is more fun than boy clothing um so I was kind of like, mm, they need to like step their game up with little boys clothing because everything doesn't have to have dinosaurs, truck, superheroes on it. I don't really like that style. So my son will not be wearing it. <laughs> Anywho, um, so I want to, I said all that. So the first thing I guess I could talk about is the app that I've used um, I went through like two different apps and I feel like this one is the best so the app I use is called the bump and it's this little pink one right there um, and I think I like that one the best it has a lot of advice on it um, so when you click it when you first start of course you put like your name your due date I think they ask for your age and then if you know what you're having you put the sex in and then it counts by weeks. So I am 23, 23 weeks right now. I'll be 24 tomorrow. So right now my baby is the size of a grapefruit. And then if you click each week, it shows you like it shows you pounds and ounces or ounces and inches that your baby should be ranging around. And then it kind of gives you what 23 weeks should look like, any symptoms you're having. And then it always has tons of articles that you can read. Um, about buying different items, saving money on different items, um, things about pregnancy in general. It'll also tell you what your baby is looking like during that time. So like what has developed, um, eyelashes, fingers and toes, different things like that. If they're hearing things, if they're blinking, stuff like that. They kind of tell you and then they give you a little to-do list. So each week you have like three to four things on your to-do list and you mark them off and that's just like a thing they want you to to keep up with um, and then at the bottom you can link like your baby registry there's a, a part where you can put look for baby names if you need help with that um, tons of different articles throughout this um, ideas for like showers and gender reveals and working out being pregnant just tons of stuff so I think it's a very helpful app it has a lot of stuff in it and it's free first trimester was rough <laughs> um, my the, the worst it was just nausea constant i think it did hit around at average time like six or seven weeks and it lasted until about 16 weeks i think so 
Yeah, it was a while. Um, it was really bad. The, the only good part about COVID was I was at home, working from home during the time of the nausea. So I was able to do work appointments and then go throw up basically. Versus with my current work, I would be out in the community. So I, it would have been hard to like manage my throwing up with appointments. Honestly, don't know how any woman who didn't work from home kept their nausea in check throughout, like at work at a physical place. Like it was so difficult. Um, and I, I only drink water. I love water, and I can barely keep water down. Um, I was really dehydrated a lot, and I was able to get my doctor to write me the medicine for nausea. So I actually went through two bottles of that stuff. It was some days I didn't have to take it. So if I didn't take it, I wouldn't. If I didn't need it, I wouldn't take it. But there were some days where I really needed it to get through the day. Um, and every morning, if I woke up, I can instantly tell if I'm going to be sick or not. And there was even days where I would throw up and there was nothing to throw up. Like I would throw up in the morning where clearly my stomach's empty. So it was really rough, but <laughs> the bright side of the, all the nausea and vomiting is they say that that's like a really good sign that everything's okay and that the baby's growing well. So that was the only thing that kind of just keeps you like, okay, it's going to be okay. But yeah, the nausea was horrible for me. So everything stunk to me. And I know like one of the symptoms is your nose is really strong. So most scents and smells that you smell throughout the day are like more intense. But with being so nauseous, everything smelled horrible and would make me just really sick to my stomach. So the only thing that ever sounded good was fresh fruit. So I was probably eating more fresh fruit those like two and a half to three months of my first trimester than I had my whole life. Like honestly, my husband would go grocery shopping because I didn't go out much. And he would just load up on fruit, mango, kiwi, pineapple, strawberries, bananas, all the berries, uh, grapefruit, any and everything. And that was my go-to. I ate fruit once in a while. I could stomach other type of meals. They had to be very light. I couldn't eat a whole lot of any meal. Even when I was hungry on days that I wasn't real sick, I still could not eat a whole lot. And fruit was just... My fruit is what kept me alive. <laughs> so, um, the problem with that is I lost a lot of weight. So, I lost about 17 pounds within a month and a half, I believe. So, my doctor was kind of concerned, but she was just trying to make sure that I wasn't doing it intentionally. I'm like, uh, no, I want to eat. Like, I hate feeling like this, but I, I can't force myself to eat something that doesn't sound good, you know, or smells awful to me. So that was that, so bad. So anytime I ate anything, honestly, I had to make sure I never laid back down, which was difficult during that first trimester because I always wanted to just take care of, like I'll get in the shower and lay down, do work, lay down, eat my fruit and lay down. So it was hard not to lay down, but you're not supposed to eat anyway. So I have to force myself to sit up um, but heartburn was bad. It was, uh, and I still get it now. Actually, it's always in my throat. So luckily, I have tums, and they usually work okay. I just have to watch. So we started just avoiding food that causes heartburn for me. So that's better. But sometimes you just want it. The crazy part is a lot of spicy food doesn't cause the heartburn. Sometimes it's just like random things that just don't sit well, or I don't know. So yes, heartburn for sure. And indigestion, I feel like that goes with the heartburn. I would constantly, even now, it's disgusting, but I always find myself burping, and I hated that, and I hate that. So yeah, <laughs> burping all the time. I always feel like I'm constantly digesting food that should have already been digested. And I don't know, it's just because I'm running out of space, and I'm already not eating for two, like a lot of people say they do. I don't feel like I can, because even when I get a meal I can't ever really finish my food a lot of it I'll eat like half and go back for it later 
So even though I may eat throughout the day, like I still do like the six small meals like they recommended during the first trimester. I still kind of do that now, but just without the throwing up and stuff. Um, one good thing about everything was my face cleared up. So I don't have horrible skin. I definitely get a pimple here and there, and it's usually from like not eating the healthiest or um, whatever, hormonal, but my skin cleared up tremendously. Like my face, I didn't have like one pimple for like two months like such a clear skin which was so good so that was like the good part about all of this is i lost 17 pounds and got real clear skin <laughs> um, hair growth so i know they say your hair grows a lot i never i don't really track the hair on my head that much anymore but my belly is so hairy <laughs> it's so weird i've never had hair on my stomach it's actually kind of gross i just look down and i'm like why is there hair on my stomach? But that's one of the weird side of, or symptoms, I guess, I have. As work, I am still working from home. Most of the time, once in a while, I have to go into the office. But for the most part, um, my job is able to work from home. I hope it stays like that forever because honestly, it just should be at home. <laughs> uh, names. So we will not be announcing our baby's name until he is born. Um, a lot of people, because this name thing has been a big thing for my family. Um, my mom has the name she's came up with. My dad has a lot of very traditional names. Um, we have a few letters that we're avoiding just because of like how they would go with the last name. Um, and then there's certain names that you like, but when you think about them a whole lot, you think about like them growing up with the name, people pronouncing it wrong, spelling it wrong, different things like that. So we want to try to just, we're very cautious. Also, um, we don't want him to have a name that's too close to his cousins, just because we want him to have his own identity, you know? And he does have a cousin that's going to be born a month before him. <laughs> so we don't want their names to like rhyme. So my sister-in-law and I like coincide and talk about names all the time. Uh, and both of us are very picky and don't like anything. <laughs> I would like a name. And I'm like, that's so cute. But then think about naming my kid that. I'm like, mm. So I end up like not liking it. But yeah, so name. And I'm honestly thinking about no one will know the name until he's born. Just because I don't have to hear people's opinion on if they think it's stupid or not. Or if they like it or not. Because technically that's... Things like that is, is very like personal and dear to like you and your partner. And I think it's so rude to tell someone that you don't like what they chosen for things in their life, whether it's how they chosen to eat or parent as long as they're not harming anyone or the name they chose for their child. So nobody will know the name but us until he's born. Um, which is fine. Um, I did do like a 20 week ultrasound and it was 45 minutes long. Ryan couldn't come, but he stayed in the car and I FaceTimed him. It went really well. She said everything was great. She marked off all of the different organs and body parts and stuff and confirmed that it was a boy because we did do the early genetic testing that also tests for like different chromosomal issues and everything looked well. So he is looking good and healthy. He weighs like a pound. So I have to go to my appointment this month and see how much he weighs. <laughs> um, you guys already saw, I did have a baby shower already. Um, I'm gonna have a virtual baby shower for all of my family and extended family in Chicago um, on September 19th. So we will be doing that. <laughs> Another side effect is I'm always out of breath. As you can see through this video, I'm like, taking a breath. I'm always out of breath. It's been like that probably since the beginning, honestly. It, I get so tired doing things. I'm very much a, a clean, go, go, go kind of person, and I just can't anymore. I try really hard, but I gotta listen to my body. So I get things done in spurts. I'll do a lot, then I'll relax. Then I get up and do a lot again. So that's kind of how I've been working. So I wanna show you some of the things I bought. So the first big thing is my pregnancy pillow. It's shaped like a um, C. 
It's very cozy. Honestly, I would recommend sleeping with one of these even if you're not pregnant. It's so comfortable and soft. I got this on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Um, it definitely has been a lifesaver because you don't realize how uncomfortable you are until you get one and then you're like, man, I can't sleep without it. So when we travel, I've taken it with me before. Um, I love it. I would 10 out of 10 recommend even if you're not pregnant. Pregnancy pillow from Amazon. Another thing that I ordered because I know that skincare has a lot of I'm usually a natural buying kind of person anyway when it comes to like skincare and body care, hair care. Uh, and I know this YouTuber that I watch, her mom makes her own skincare line and she made a pregnancy line for her daughter who's pregnant. So I bought her a pregnancy skincare line. So I wanted to show you. It's very gentle, good quality. I would recommend it. Not crazy expensive at all. Um, so the line is called Vassor um, Skincare, which is their last name. So I got the foaming cleansing, um, like cleanser for your face. And then I have the Pregnancy Glow Serum. And I have the Pregnancy Glow Mask. And this mask just looks like a regular mud mask. So it looks like that. None of this stuff has a scent, which is good. You know, it's, you know, clean. And then I have the belly oil, which I put all over. I need to order another one. It's getting pretty low, you can see. Um, I put it all over like my butt, my back, my boobs, my belly, down my thighs, all of those places that get stretch marks. I have stretch marks. I have stretch marks on my thighs, like the upper part of my thighs from just growing from like teenager to like womanhood I guess so I don't really care that much I feel like after I'm done having kids I'm gonna get treatments and work done anyway so but I got that stuff I'll link the company's website down below um, another side effect or something I forgot to mention was Constantly being thirsty, no matter how much water I drink, to the point where I needed to add supplements like sugar-free Gatorade or um, these hydra hydrating like little packets to my water. Um, sometimes waking up and being really hungry at like 5 a.m. and thirsty. And also lingering taste will be in my mouth. So like after eating anything, sometimes I have like this lingering gross taste, kind of metal sometimes. And so I would either have to brush my teeth and chew gum to get rid of that lingering taste. So that was another one that was really annoying sometimes. Forgot about that. Another thing is my good friend Mackenzie bought me and shipped me a pregnancy, um, like, uh, taking care of yourself pregnancy box. So it's by Nature, um, Nature Escapes. That's the card. This is an Etsy shop. She got me stuff off of there. Um, I'm going to show the things I have left because I used up the other two. So it came in a cute little box wrapped up and had like paper and everything. So it comes with the organic belly butter. This stuff is really good. I go back and forth between this and the oil that I bought. It also came with the natural foot scrub, the shea butter. That smells really good. It also came with the organic honey lip sweet orange lip balm. It came with the goat milk soap bar. I still have it. It's like halfway melted. Um, I only use that when I take baths because it's like luxurious, you know. And then it also came with a sea salt and like herb mixture for like soaking. That was like maybe this big, like a little thing like that. So I only got two uses, usages out of it, but it, it was really good. So I would recommend this company. Like I said, it's an Etsy shop. I'm not sure how much she paid for that set, but it was a good like surprise. So if you know someone who's pregnant, you may need something like that. So this is our stroller. This is the crap in it I want to show you. <laughs> I'll take all this stuff out. So. I have on pajama pants, don't mind me. So this is our stroller. 
It is by Up A Baby Vista. Um, this part like extends, um, is locked in for the taller people. It is the, what color is this? It's like the grayish cream, but when you look at it closely, it has like blue and green kind of stitching in it. So we have the like, the little like bassinet part put in. This part can pop up and you can turn it the other way. Um, and then it also comes with this part. Once, sorry, excuse my stomach. It comes with this part. So once the baby gets older and bigger, they can sit in this part and this part pops on front and backwards as well. So it can face you or face outwards. It can lay back if your kid is like napping. Um, and of course it grows with you. So like I said, this part is for, you know, when you're smaller, and you transition into that one. Another thing about it is it has this really big bottom. Let me see if I can show you. So it has like the big space at the bottom to hold, house a lot of things. The wheels are really big and sturdy. Um, this comes in tons of colors. And um, like I said, it, it's so smooth. Like we want to take it out, but would it be weird to take it out without a baby in it? <laughs> but, um, and you can also put two of these on there. So let's say we had a second kid and I had like a baby and then like a one year old or something. The baby can go on the top. You put an extender on here and then you could have the baby on the top facing you and like the toddler facing outwards or inwards. Um, in the other part so it grows with you and that was like my main reason of wanting um, a car seat a stroller like this and then it also fits the car seat we didn't get the car seat yet but the car seat can click in on this as well so you can click the car seat with this or the car seat with the other piece just very modern up-to-date and just like it's very helpful it grows with you. You can keep it forever kind of thing. So yeah. And then on the front of this, I have my diaper bag sitting in here. So I have the Fawn Design diaper bag. I'm going to... Oh. Okay. So the Fawn Design diaper bag. It's the large size. It says like Fawn right there. Um, so it can be carried like a strap or backpack on the back it has this zipper that goes all the way through and then it also has a big like pocket and then as you can see the straps are still on the car the stroller so you can click that into different things you're carrying around like a stroller or a car seat and have it hung on like that this opens up here and looks like that so it has five like departments on the side and then it has like a zipper part and then like another big part here and then on the front of course it has this pocket here a zip pocket here and And last but not least, on the sides, it has like pockets on both sides. So, and you can carry it like that. So, this bag, I'll link this company down below, just as well as the stroller and the car seat bundle. Um, this company I found through a YouTuber and I'm following them on Instagram. So, this is the color I got, but this is like my vibe. Everybody knows I'm a neutral kind of person, but. This particular bag comes in tons of colors. It comes in like a dark green, black, navy blue, yellow, pink, like tons of colors. It also comes in two sizes. So this is a large size and then they have like a mini. And I've seen moms who have this, use this for like two kids. Like if they have a baby and a toddler, they can put all their stuff in here. 
they can fit their own personal, you know, instead of carrying a purse and a diaper bag, their like wallet and keys and women things can go in here because there's so much space. So 10 out of 10, I recommend the quality is really good. Prenatal vitamins. So I did the ritual, which is like a monthly subscription. It just mail them to your house. So you don't have to remember to go pick them up from the store. So those are that. They smell like lemon. And prenatals just, they're prenatals, you know. No matter who makes them, they kind of sometimes make you like that. So, yeah. But I've been taking them. Some days I miss. Um, but, yeah. They're a really good. They're vegan. They have tons of different things in them. So, really good brand. They make all day women's vitamins. They also make uh, like men's vitamins now as well, like a multivitamin. So check them out. What I do is I want to show you some stuff that I bought for the baby and a dress that I wore for my bridal shower. I mean my baby shower. So I used to say bridal showers. I had that last year. Um, so this is the dress I purchased. It's from a company called um, Petal and Pup. And it's an Australian brand. It came like within a week. And it's very, very stretchy. As you can see. I actually could have went a size down. Because I had space. And it would like jump up, bumble up in the back and on the side. Um, but it was so comfortable when you think about being pregnant. And being uncomfortable or things being too tight. Didn't have to wear a bra. The straps are huge. As long as you wear like black underwear, um, you're good to go. So I love this. And this this company does have after pay as well. This in like a size that he can fit right away. But this is in like um, one and a half to two year old. So I got this cute little sweater. Um, as far as like what he can wear right away. I got this cute um sleeper and it's from h&m super cute and it has little ears on it so soft so i got that um and this is like 6.99 i always go to h&m and grab a lot of stuff off their clearance um and then i got this double um long sleeve onesies these are in a four to six months and the cream color in the back and then the white with the little animals on the front i got this from target this is a newborn size so i didn't i had i just started to buy newborn we really don't know how big he will be i was pretty average but i think ryan was a little bit bigger than average but not crazy at least this one just in case i just started to grab a few more newborn things so we got this from um target and it's just this little newborn like onesie with this little pocket not onesie but you know what I mean it's made out of a soft material I also got these little overalls in this cream color and then it has animals on it but they're like very subtle subtly drawn so that's the thing I'll do an animal but it can be bright colored animals um and this one which I I really like the pants because they have little bears on it um, and they're like in the subtle blue and greens and grays and stuff and then it has a little bear here and it came with the little long sleeve. A lot of people was like that looks like army and I was like I don't really like army stuff that much. I grabbed it because I noticed the bears right away but whatever. This is a newborn size as well. The overalls are in three months. Um, this is in three months. How stinking cute is that? Look at the pants. I can't handle it. And it comes with this little hat with ears. This is three months. And this is from Target. And then we got this newborn set. I'm not a big fan of all of this, really. I wish it was plain. But it says Wild Little One um, with the little hat. But the one in the back is super cute because it's like brown. Most of the baby stuff I've noticed comes where... You can close the hands in so they won't scratch themselves. But that one's really cute. These are both like just button at the bottom. And then this is the most, probably the most color. And this is just like a blue. And it's like the little nightgown, which is easy for like nighttime and stuff. 
pregnancy period and then the white one. So, and this is newborn size. The other one was newborn as well. So, um, yes, that is it. I've talked for 33 minutes. I feel so I wanted this to be like 15 minutes. Anyway, if you have any questions, a lot of my clothing is from like H&M, Target, Carter's at Target. I'll link every company that I mentioned down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have more questions about pregnancy things or anything, just let me know. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Forgot to mention that my stroller does come with a three year warranty. So if you're looking into getting it, it does come with a warranty, which is very helpful. But it also came with these mesh nets to put over the different parts. So if you have both of your kids at one time or just one, they can be protected from bugs and mosquitoes and all those things. And then it also came with this plastic set for to protecting them in the rain. So it comes with all of that stuff as well. And I'm pretty sure the top of that thing and the other one, there's a peekable. You can like unzip it and you can see them like if they're facing outwards but if they're sleeping or if you have it pulled all the way down and you can't see their face. So, yes, that's it. Roller does come with like a traveling case. So when you're going somewhere and you're gonna take it with you, you can break it down really easily. It literally took Ryan five to 10 minutes to put it together very easy but it does come with a traveling um, case that you just fold it down and put it right in it's really handy so <laughs> worth the money <laughs> I just forgot something that's another thing I've been very forgetful I pride myself in being a very sharp person and I remember everything but pregnancy brain is a thing I forget a lot of times what I'm doing what I wanted to do but I wanted to show my baby bump now don't judge me but my shirt is kind of small but I wanted to show my stomach anyway. And I don't have on cute bottoms. These are sweats, but, so you can't see it that much from here. But, let me see. You can kind of see a little something, something there. I guess I can show it lifted up. You can really see a little something, something. I already have that line going. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people do that on YouTube and Instagram, so I thought I would show my bump, okay? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.